What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys another GT6 drifting update. Now, um, a lot of you guys were uh, telling me to put um, comfort hard tires um, on basically any car that I wanted to drift. And basically all of you were telling me, use comfort hard tires. So I, I took my uh, BMW M4 and I put comfort hard tires on it and it made a huge difference. I mean, seriously, a huge difference. Um, I'll go ahead and just show you guys real quick because... I've been kind of messing around with this car for a little while, and it's made such a huge difference in in just how much how much easier it is to just drift this car and make it go sideways and 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 have control of it. That it's a huge huge deal. Let me just see if I can. And you could bring it back, and it doesn't it doesn't fight you. It's really quite the change, to be honest. Uh, exit line wasn't too good, but I've gotten to the point now Thanks to you guys and thanks to your tire suggestions. I've gotten to the point now where I can actually start to focus on technique and not just actually learning how to drift but But learning how to make my drifting better. So I feel like I've actually learned I've gotten to the point now where I can to Pretty much for the most part drift and now I just got to work on my overall technique and just how the drifts look because these tires, man, these tires have been absolutely amazing. I mean, obviously, there's still a huge amount of room for improvement, huge amount of room for improvement. I don't doubt that, but these tires are amazing. They've, they've really opened me up to a whole new, uh, just a whole new world of drifting in GT just because of the fact that they actually allow me to control the car when it's sideways. They give me a new feel, um for the actual control that I have over the car because previously I felt like the cars were extremely twitchy and would whip around on you just at a moment's notice but once I put these tires on them they 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 feel responsive they feel controllable they feel easy to use it's just everything has improved tremendously after uh, after putting these tires on Ugh, still that exit I have to work on the exit line for that corner let me actually switch views because I haven't drifted very much in third person with these tires on. I've only really done uh, first person drifting. So let's see if I can do some third person drifting real quick just to see. Ooh. I've generally always drifted the M4 in first person just because I felt like... I don't know, just because I really like the interior and because I feel like when I'm drifting the M4, I feel like I do better in first person for some reason. But, um, I don't know, running in third person is not bad either. Come on, into fourth. Back down to third. Let's see if we can get this corner in third person. Never tried it in this car in third person before, so let's see what we can see what we can manage. Nearly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No problem at all. That was awesome. Okay. So as you can see, these these tires have really made a huge, huge difference for me, and I can't thank you guys enough for suggesting these tires because. It is literally a huge deal. Let's see if I can hit a little bit of a... Oh, not bad. Not bad. I still haven't started to transition that section yet because I'm not totally comfortable with my transitions yet. Um, that's one of the next things I'm going to be working on. But now that I... Like I said, I keep going back to now that I have these tires, it's so much easier and so much more controllable. Just better. Just better. Oh, I've gone off a little bit. Uh, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. There you go, there you go. Let's see if we can pull out one more good lap. Or at least, well, no, finish this finish this lap on a good note. Oh, uh, uh. Crap! Can we keep it going? Not really. Not really, that corner was kind of screwed. I was focusing on the ghost car way too much. Way too much. But you know what this means is the fact that I can now, the fact that I now have some, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I'm plowing, yeah, it's plowed wide, plowed wide, bring it back. I'm gonna take one more lap after this, because I can't, I can't end it like that. But I think this is really good because now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start venturing onto some other tracks now, because of the fact that I feel like I really have a nice feel uh, for what, I, for what the, um, for what the drifting physics are now because now I feel like I've spent a lot of time here at Tsukuba 
and I could start... Whoa, that's a whip. That's a whip. But yeah, and I could start venturing into some other courses because I've really wanted to do that. I feel like I've, I've wanted to start venturing into other courses, but I also wanted to make sure I didn't leave Tsukuba too soon because I feel like you need to have a track... Oh, God. Plot white again. What the heck? I don't know. Maybe I'm focusing on watching the ghost car too much. I don't know. I'm going to go back into first person because I'm a little bit more comfortable there. But um, now I feel like I could start venturing off of Tsukuba and onto some other circuits because I have a little bit better um, of a feel for uh, for how how this car is going to feel now and how any car really is going to feel with these comfort hard tires just making it so much better. And who knows? I might even venture into some online drifting lobbies. I don't know if I'm ready for that, though. I don't know if I'm ready for that. That might be a little bit uh, little bit down the road. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. But let's see if we can bring in one last good drift on this corner. There you go. Awesome way to end it. Awesome way to... In fact, no. In fact, in fact, this is an even better way to end it. With a massive donut. Basically try and smoke out our own car. The smoke in this game, though, it's just... It's just like that smoke. It's just awesome. But now, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. And tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. If you have any suggestions, also don't forget to leave them down there. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one with some more, uh, with some more drifting on some other tracks. So hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.